have a message to not only Dalai Lama and all the Tibetan government and all the uh, our group uh, tradition, you know. And what is my message, you know? <clears throat> we are the student of Yajo Pabunka and Tijang, which is student. And uh, now they wanted to destroy our lineage, you know. We always pray that we have to, all our lifetime, we have to uh, meet with the uh, uh, right um, teacher, right guru, and uh, right community. And uh, in my my special teacher and my special community is that our Trijan Rinpoche and, and uh, my um, community is Gandhi Chatse. If now, if these things happens, if I didn't sign, um, I will be, be uh, separate from Gandhi Chatse. Uh, if I did sign, you know, I will be separate from my spiritual teacher. We are only coming for requesting to give us religious freedom. Yeah, that's the only my message. Becoming a barrier to Buddhism, I think is a very significant thought that he really should contemplate on that. And based on that, then he should consider his action and his reaction to what is that we are doing. It's a kind message. It's really from the bottom of my heart. I think we all know that what has to be done. I'd like to ask the Dalai Lama to stop the persecution against Dorje Shugden practitioners because it's really harming this whole world, what's happening now, because these people aren't able to practice and this practice helps cause world peace. So when they aren't able to practice, then he's actually harming the whole world by his actions. So I'm asking him to please stop the persecution Whatever prayer someone practices in the country where I've grown up, we don't have such restrictions. Governments can't dictate to us which prayers we should be saying and which gods we should be praying to, which Buddhas we should choose to pray to and which ones we don't, which deities we can pray to and which ones we don't. Um, so I feel that as an American and as a person who's grown up in a country where we're allowed freedom of our religion, freedom of our expression, that we, that I personally, even if I weren't a Buddhist and I weren't a Dajju Shukdan practitioner, I personally have a moral responsibility to speak up on behalf of those who can't and uh, on behalf of those who are suffering because of their religious choices. His actions are not lining up with the way he's speaking. Um, he's saying in many of the teachings that he gives not to harm others. That's true, that's, that's, that's a main Buddhist tenet. And when Dalai Lama is passing this sweeping indictment of all Shugden practitioners, and then making them untouchables within Tibetan society, that's harming others. So the Dalai Lama, my message to the Dalai Lama is, please look at the way you're treating these Shugden practitioners. You are not lining up your words and your actions. And in order to remedy this, there needs to be a lot of work that needs to be done between the Dalai Lama and his government and the Shugen practitioners that are being victimized in Tibet and all over the world. So my message to the Dalai Lama is please listen and please engage in a dialogue and please be willing to change. I really pray from the depths of my heart that the Dalai Lama will hear our message and will give the religious freedom to all Buddhist practitioners in the world, both in Tibet, in India, and across the West now, where we're all receiving persecution and effects of his ban. I hope he hears our message and, and allows us the freedom to practice the beautiful teachings given to us by our spiritual guides.